We did think, and I certainly thought, hence my uh, big prediction that if he won the first game, he would take the match, that possibly the events over the summer with him being a, a father might relax him a little bit more, give him perspective on life, and actually let him enjoy the game and not take everything so personally with the referees. Um, he continually feels like he's being stitched up all the time, and it's very evident when we're watching it on the uh, TV, when we've got all the different angles, a lot of the times he's arguing these decisions, he's actually Wilstrop wrong. Wilstrop leads two <laughs> games to one. Wilstrop the serve. And then you've got the cool, Level. calm, collected, <coughs> contrasting character of James Wilstrop, who is now serving in this fourth game. I think once the decision's made, you can appeal it or not, depending how strongly you feel, but. You can't control what's going on. Gautier has to control the controllables. He, he can't get wrapped up and in now, things that he can't do anything about. He needs to focus on his game and what he's doing. Stroke to Gautier, two love. Again, will stop opting for the cross court down the middle. He really doesn't want Gaultier volleying on the forehand. Hey. Decision, please. Yes, lad. It depends how far the ball had gone. We couldn't really tell from that angle, could Left we? Left box, two lads. Video review, please, Mr. Gaultier, on the yes-led decision. Well, we've got a video review here, very early stage. The original decision being a let ball. Great anticipation there from Wilstrop. Has the ball gone past him? And well, I how mean, it, far? Could, it could have been a no-let, actually. You can see this. No, it didn't go past him. That's an interesting angle, isn't it? When you see yeah. it from that angle, it looks like a stroke. And then when, probably when you see it from this angle, it doesn't look like... I mean, it's amazing, the different angles. That's it's weird, isn't it? Yeah. Decision upheld. Yes, let. Very hard, very Two hard left one. left box, please. That could have gone. Mr. Gordier has three no different reviews ways. Ways. Could have been a no-let stroke. If in doubt, you had to go with the, the decision from the floor, didn't you? If you can't tell, and there's three different angles that look like three different decisions, well, you have I mean, to go with the original. That was really evident, and that's a, a good uh, bit of diplomacy by the fourth Down. official. And there's the error. Hand out. One, two. Thought those early points may have settled Gaultier, but then as soon as he looks like he's getting settled, that decision came, and maybe he's rattled again with the tin. Stroke to Gaultier, hand Good out squeeze there from Gaultier, so he re-establishes a two-point lead at 
missed again there, Corte, but so did Wilstrop. Such an important rally for Corte, this. So he can establish another points lead against Wilstrop. Down. Well, Wolstrop making the error then after that long rally. So it looks like left Gaultier box. has balanced himself out four here. One. Left box forward. As we approach the 60 minute mark for this match, Gaultier now serves at 4 1. special. That really is a bit special. Five one. Gaultier looks completely different again. Starting to look composed and calm. Just see the way he's setting himself in the middle of the court. Look, he's there, he's relaxed, calm, watching. Oh, this is a real battle down that left-hand wall between the two players. Stop switching the play. Well, this is pure quality, isn't it? This rally. Both players finding the corners, hitting no. their targets, and in the end, it's Wilstrop that squeezes the error from Gaultier. Just see there, Come so difficult to get the ball off the glass there. He's going for the Three triple five. angle, but strange option. Down. Well, there's another unforced error, so it's four five. Very hard to commentate on sometimes when this happens with Gaultier. Well, it was strange, wasn't it? Because it was looking very, very rosy in the Gaultier camp at 5 1. All of a sudden, a yeah, few key points, it's 4 5. Yeah, but I mean, this is what his opponents know can happen. That's why they don't panic when he goes up 5 1 or 6 1 or 7 2. Or, you know, suddenly Wolstrop is within one point. It'd be very difficult to coach, wouldn't he, Gaultier, in between games? <laughs> if. I was dealing with him in between games. I would just make him listen to Classic FM. Five all. So Wilstrop has drawn level at five all in this fourth game. Oh, luckily he's okay. It's very rare you see him go down. No let. I can't see that being a let. Can you? No let. No, it's not a let ball, court, so please. it's not discussing. We need a court sweep here, but luckily for somebody of James Wallstrop's size, I mean, when, when they go down like that, somebody of six foot four, let's have a look. Uh, oh, we just caught his foot. I mean, those little contacts, we've seen ankles uh, savaged by that, but luckily Wallstrop, who has actually had some ankle foot problems in the past, is okay. 
I'm trying to work out the size of his feet. I mean, you know him very well, James. What's his What's his foot size? Uh, 14, I think. Only 14. Only size 14. This uh, had them specially made, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, did, he did before, but I'm not sure whether he does now, now with his Adidas shoes. Right. Okay. Hand out. <laughs> Six five. Anyway, all okay. Gaultier now serving at 6-5. Again, he's trying to conjure up a special shot. I mean, he's got away with it. He was lucky. He was lucky. Very lucky to get away with that because the cross-court nick attempt was not good. 7-5. Wilstrop, unfortunately, not punishing him, and then Gaultier counter-attacking. So... Bit of fortune there for Gaultier, but the shot selection's still not good. Certainly anticipated the right way. He was there, wasn't he? Look, Six, see how early he's onto the ball, just opting for a low cross court. Probably would have been better served pushing a straight ball through a bit higher. And he's just being very aggressive with the, with the shot, with the shot option, looking to to cut and use pace. It's just in his nature, isn't it, to, to, to use that type of attack rather than using the softer, subtle pushes through or working balls. That's brilliant in there. That's so much better, so much better. He's taking the pace off the front left-hand corner, putting the ball in tight so that the cross court comes onto the forehand volley. Eight, six. And then again taking the pace off. And it's so important when he takes the pace off the ball in the front corners. That was a quality, well-structured rally from the Frenchman. And it's given him a very important two-point lead at 8-6. Oh, look at the pace in this rally. Oh, this is unbelievable. It's ferocious. It's going to be a let ball. Again, yes, let. amazing uh, court Eight coverage six. there from Wilstrop, who was somehow able to get the balls on the front of the wall. Even on the front wall. This is great from Will Straw. Oh, oh. That's, that is the perfect alley game. Perfect squash. Weight of stroke. Beautiful shot into the back of the court. And, and then eight. look at the precision on that. How low he gets. Well, this is getting very exciting now, Drew Boy. And there's a dreadful error off the service. It's the type of mistake a junior would make. Well, I can't believe that came from Gaultier. He's had his nose in front the whole game and then just to give parity that easily off a return of serve. But going back to the rally before, that was brilliant control from Wilshrop. We saw two drives in a row, both played at a similar pace, but the second drive included a little hold and push through, and it made Gaultier do so much more work up and round. Down. A little bit of fortune there for Gaultier, but he'll take it. He will take it at such a crucial stage. And you can see him just talking to himself. Eight. Just <laughs> managed to get it on the front wall. He mistimed that off the strings. Luckily, it bounced in his favour. So 9-8 here. 
It's hold your breath time, isn't it, well, if you're watching? Who's got the nerve? I think this is purely down to what Gaultier can do. Yes, let 9-8. It's already pick questioning. Up. He's questioning pick the pickups. OK, he's questioning the pickups. Why are you questioning the pickups at the most crucial stage of the match when they're OK? This is down to Gregory winning or losing this game, uh, Drew Boyd. Is, isn't it? We're either going to see an outrageous yes, winner left. or an error. Nine eight. Wolstrop will hang fast. I just really do think this is in the hands of Gaultier here. Win or lose. Drops able to have got that straight and just got himself back in front somehow. Look at this, he's back in front here. Just collapsing slightly though, he's got Will Strop. Oh, I don't know, trouble. he's in trouble, but he's still hanging on. He needs to slow this, he needs to buy some time. And there's the stroke. But the oh, what a rally, Will Strop fighting to the very death in that rally. And then finally the pressure. Too much for the Englishman. Gaultier gets the penalty stroke. So the Frenchman now with two ten game eight. balls. Eight. Game ball. Game ball. Ten eight. Game ball. What's a rally? Can Gaultier keep it up? Can he close the game? Recovery from Gaultier, improvising. <laughs> Look at this. It's just amazing. <laughs> it is, absolutely. Now we're back into the rally after all those exchanges up and down the wall, starting the rally again. It's going through phases of play. Oh, look at that. There's no way it's going to be a <laughs> let, is there? He's no punched that ball through. Poor cross court from Gaultier and Wilstrop. Never seen Wilstrop try and block the ball. Gaultier is indicating. Look at this. There's no <laughs> absolutely no block at all. He's played a shot, moved back. He is mentally so calm and tough, Wilstrop. We're going to see him nail a winner here, or are we going to see an error? <laughs> I don't want to predict anymore because. Well, no one knows. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nobody has a clue, really. All I know is that Wilstrop will stay consistent. I think that's certain. Force it, but yes, let nine ten. Well, he just needs to stay focused Why here, Gaultier. Why is he doing that? Why is he talking to whoever it is in the crowd? What happened if I throw a ghost here? Sorry, what why is he doing this? Why is he doing it? I don't know. He's he needs to concentrate, position, don't you think? Just think there's going to be an error after this. <laughs> <laughs> As much as we do the analysis, every time he does this, there's not an error. There's a string of right, errors. Right but box, I mean, it's nine, just ridiculous. Ten, game ball. Ridiculous. So Wilstrop serves at 9 10. Still game ball for this volatile Frenchman. Well, it's going to be a no let. He went the wrong way, Decision, didn't he? Please. Yes, let. Oh, cool, today. He's not going to be happy. The ball is on the left. I'm on, I'm on the right. Where no. is the problem? We saw enough interference. Yes, let. Oh. 9 10. I'm not game on ball. the way. 
Cléon, please. Non, mais quel bon dans le tir. Il collapsed, didn't he? He stumbled the wrong way. He stumbled the wrong way. He stumbled the wrong way. Gaultier is still gesticulating about the shot. Wallstrop is just keeping calm, looking at the ball. Gaultier is twitching all over the place. Would be hard not to twitch no, after that. No, it would be, but, you know, got to carry on with it. Will we see an error from the Frenchman? Or he's going to hit an angry winner. Gonna, gonna make him go even more mental here. He's gonna be really angry. No let. Ten all player to win by two points. No, there's no way that's a let Each ball. Player has one there's no available. way. So we're into a tie break scenario. Two game balls have been saved by James Wallstrop. We think it's gonna be Wallstrop's game now, wouldn't you? Yes, let ten all. Yes, let 10 all. It's actually one of the few times that Wilstrop's opted to hit wide on the cross court. And you saw immediately Gaultier was on to that volley. Probably be wise to carry on going down the mid or lifting the ball up out of the corner. Yes, let 10 all. Ah, what am I supposed to do? Well, I think it's a let ball. You just saw Gaultier play the drop shot, and he was, he was moving away as he played the drop shot. Ball wasn't short enough, tight no. enough. Well, he does have a habit of doing that, moving back into the opponent on crucial times like this. He's absolutely thundered that into the tin, off the service. 11, so, 10. That dreadful error match ball. now gives James Woolstrop match ball. It's a trademark forehand volley from Gaultier. Look at Wilstrop digging in here. Gaultier is controlling this, but Wilstrop's just absorbing and trying wow. to neutralize. Oh, that is tremendous pressure, tremendous pressure. James Wilstrop, unfortunately, not able to get that one back in. Just clipping the outer court and lines. <laughs> a lifeline here for Gaultier, who originally had two game balls. Now he saved the match ball against, and it's 11 all. What's the rally from Gaultier under pressure? Wallstrop just asking the referee to tell the crowd to stop moving. The side wall there, be very distracting. I 
don't know how Wolf drops. <laughs> He's again the reach to keep the ball on the front wall. Gortez in charge here at the moment. He is. Can he deal with James Wallstrop getting numerous attacks back? It's going to be a let ball. Yes, lad. 11 all. Well, we really are on the edge of our seats here. Sure. Right box, please. All the viewers watching this around the world. Very intense squash, nervous feeling. We really don't know if Gaultier is going to produce something outstanding or dreadful. Well, that was outstanding movement. Well, this is going to be interesting. Well, the stroke 12 11 game ball going in favor of the Frenchman again not much discussion though from Wilstrop who's trying to concentrate on the most important business in hand so third game ball opportunity here for Gaultier well, he's tried to force it and he's made the error well, see, the, the way he played it the second time, he held and had a good and foundation down. platform Twelve. to work from. When he actually made the error, he was already running away before he'd finished the shot. Got to hold, execute the shot, then move. Stop there. Could have easily have stopped and asked for a let ball, but wanting to keep the rally going. And we now see this. A bit of, 12, quite a large bit of contact, ball. but desperate to keep the rally going. So, can Gaultier convert this fourth game ball? What will happen, Drew Boy? Will it be a winner from Gaultier? Will it be an error from Gaultier? Well, I'm not going to try and second guess, that's for sure. Yes, lad. Video review, please, Mr. Wilstrop, on the yes, lad decision. Well, let's have a look at this. I mean, the tension being created here is ridiculous. Feeling quite fatigued here in the in the commentary box. Certainly, look it. <laughs> what do you think, there, Joey? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Well, I'm just the ball's come back. It's going to be a stroke, oh, isn't my it? my lord. I mean, I, before I saw that, there's no way I thought that was going to be a stroke. Decision well, watch overruled. Gaultier's face now. Decision of a rule, stroke to Will Strop. Oh, you can't believe it. Hand out, 30 Look at the face, he's destroyed. Will Strop has one review remaining. Very good use of the review there from Will Strop. What's going to happen? Back at 13 all. Gaultier again looking at the referee. <laughs> Just hear the power on that forehand drive. Steaming. You see the uh, vascularization on his forehead nearly exploding, Gaultier. <laughs> Hand out. <laughs> Thundering that ball straight. He just beat ball struck by raw power there. So, 
I'm trying. I'm, I'm losing track of the game balls, but I think it's the fifth game ball opportunity for Gaultier. 14-13. I think one thing we can be sure of: Gaultier is going to try and hit the ball hard. Yes, let 14-13 game ball. Even there, in between points, he's thundering the drive down the line again. Yes, lad. 14-13. Why didn't he play that? Why didn't he play that? Obviously, he didn't play it because he wanted to look for the stroke, but that quite easily should have gone. Well, look at that squeeze, what a squeeze, what a frustrating situation, but that's just brilliant from Wallstock, and it's Hundo, so damaging. Well, it, was, it was so calm, wasn't it, because Gaultier overhit the, the serve, and you could easily panic in that situation, but Wallstock stayed calm, guided the ball tight. The it's the most damaging thing. Slightly loose from Wallstock. Well, I don't know how he's hanging on. This could be interesting. Oh. Needs to lift. Look at Gaultier. this. How's he doing it? Turnover. It's brilliance from Gaultier as well. The pressure he's exerting here. Well, look at all this recovery work and everything else. We've had 85 minutes so far. Oh, oh Wilstrop gets it. The fortunate join. The front of the court. Look at this shot. What nerve to play that shot. Well, what a rally. It was a wonderful rally from both players. Brilliant attacking 15, play 14, from Gaultier. Much ball. Well, James Wallstrop now presents himself with his second match ball. And I really can't see the Englishman letting this one slip now. No, I think I've, I've just got a feeling Wilshop's going to close this game out here. Out. Well, we were wrong <laughs> again. Well, I've been wrong all day. I mean, it's, that's what's so brilliant, though, about this game of ours and also these characters that are playing it I mean this is going backwards and forwards like a seesaw Gaultier with the animated fist pump and rightly so squeezing the ball out of court so all level 15 all yes left 15 all he's so far away review He's going to get this one wrong. Video He's going to stay as a let ball. You see that the, yes the first strike. This is not going to change at all. And this is, he loves to do this where he plays the shot, doesn't let his opponent through. And the quality of the shot's not good enough for a no let. Let's have a look. So Wilstrop gets the ball back, recovers well. There goes the drop shot. Wilstrop's on his shoulder. Can't get through. Yeah, it's going to be a let ball, isn't it? Well, he's on his shoulder. Look how he recovers. And then he's anticipating. He's on. He's got the reach. Staying as a let. And it does. Decision upheld. Yes, let. No surprise 15 there. 15 all. Right box. Mr. Gaultier has no reviews remaining. See the testosterone there from Gaultier. Brilliant reaction. Look at this. Amazing. 16-15. Game ball. French ball terrier. Well, he's strung some superb rallies <laughs> together here in this important phase of the game. So Gaultier with his sixth game ball.
all the neutrals out there will be absolutely desperate for this game to this match to go to five. Stroke to God here. Video review, please, Mr. Willstrop, on the stroke decision. Well, let's have a look here. Willstrop stays on court calmly. Gaultier adamant that that's a stroke. He's off court. He's looking for Willstrop with his swing, but it's pretty loose. Let's have a look at it from the overhead. Again, you can see him looking for Willstrop with his swing. What do you think, Drew Boy? Well, it's going to be a stroke, I think. The ball came out quite loosely. Didn't really have space. Well, it stays as a stroke. Into here, 17 15. An absolute gargantuan nail biting fourth game between these two players. 35 minute fourth game. Gregory Gaultier finally taking it on the sixth attempt, 17 15. It's now two games all. What an epic of a fourth game. You saw. Brilliant play, battling play from both players. Somehow, Gregory Gaultier got himself composed. He got himself back into this match. And I mean, it seems a long time ago now, but he got a good start in it. And then you really couldn't call it. I mean, we saw game ball after game ball for the Frenchman, but Wilstrop wasn't rattled, just kept to his task, stayed calm, just kept playing his squash. Precision stuff going back corner to front corner, but I mean, that was just breathtaking squash right the way through. And let's hope the fifth can be just as exciting between these two players. Just raw power from both players. Brilliant stuff.